good evening to you. We've got clear skies mixed with a few thin clouds out there, but no significant area of cloud cover blocking out the sun. You can see that when you look at our Spring Creek Golf Course Seneca Cam. Lots of sunshine. Again, a couple of thin clouds in the sky, but that's about it. Lots of sunshine and 79 right now in Topeka. Started out at 42, made it up to a high of 80 degrees today. So a big warm up out ahead of that front. Now the winds are starting to make that turn to the west and northwest. And as that wind shifts, the cooler air will start to move in. And I say start to move in because there's not cold air waiting about to rush in. It's just slightly cooler and it's a gradual drop in the warmth that we've got. You can see on one side of the front temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. On the other side of the front, mid 70s to about 80 degrees. So no major instant change on the temperature. Currently 78 at Manhattan, 78 at Emporia. Sometimes cold fronts will come in in the fall and it's, they're as obvious as can be where they are. You've got to look at more of where the wind is shifting right now from southwest at Lawrence to northwest at Topeka, north at Marysville. And then you see there is a weak front sliding through the area and that will continue to push off to the southeast. And these southerly winds will be replaced by northerly winds and give it some time and that cooler air will gradually filter into the area. A few thin passing clouds out overhead today, occasionally giving us just a little something to look at, and that's been about it. The majority of the central and western United States is quiet. There is this little disturbance, though, between Bismarck and Winnipeg, moving over to northern Minnesota. That is actually what's pushing this cold front through. It's not a major storm system. It's just a little weak disturbance, but it will shift our winds and eventually bring us some cooler weather. Storm systems exiting out of the east. And back to the west, no major storm system coming in, and we're tracking nice, quiet weather because of that. Middle to upper 40s tomorrow morning. By lunchtime, we'll be nearing the 60-degree mark, upper 50s to around 60. And while this model keeps us in the 60s, I'm confident that we'll still be able to reach upper 60s to near 70 again tomorrow. And then we'll cool down upper 30s to around 40 Saturday morning, Topping out Saturday in the lower 60s, so definitely a cooler start to the weekend. That's when that cooler air finally settles in. And then as we head into Sunday, starting out in the low 40s, but look at the rebound by Sunday afternoon, we should climb back into the upper 60s. So for a low tonight, right around 46 degrees, the winds will be out of the northwest at 5 to 10. For the next seven days, some beautiful weather still ahead of us. Yeah, we cool down a little bit for the weekend. But hey, that's still nice. Sunny in 60s, not much to complain about there. And sunny in low 70s, Monday and Tuesday, no complaints even as the work week kicks back in. We'll trail back into the 60s by the middle of next week with perhaps a few showers moving back into the area by next Thursday. There's a look at the sunrise this morning east of Emporia from Lucy Fink, from Manhattan from Eric Schwartz. There's some clouds up overhead at Carbondale from Kelly McPhail. And a look at some of the fall colors along 470 in Topeka from Gary Hoffsummer. Also, a quick hello to the kindergarten and first grade students at uh, Meadows Elementary School here in Topeka. Meteorologist Tom Hagen was out there earlier, earlier today uh, talking to them about Kansas weather and, of course, all the things they need to know as part of our Kids Learning About Weather program brought to you by Dr. Anita Murray Cleary at Pediatric Smiles on Southwest 29th Street here in Topeka. I have a request to make. Okay. This weather is just absolutely gorgeous. Any way that we can put in maybe a good word to have it year-round? Um, we could. Um, <laughs> it probably won't go very far. But even yeah. if we did, we'd see our home prices go up to the level of that, like in San Diego, because I think there are places okay. that see this kind of weather year-round and they're pricey. You make a very good point. Yeah. All right, maybe we'll just take it in this We'll season. take our four seasons and our low cost of living. How's that? It was worth asking about. Hey, yeah. Thanks, Matt. Uh,